everyone, you're watching Chet TV. My name is Danina and I'm standing here with Jabig. He is a cyclist who has been cycling across Canada. Tell us, how has that experience been? Ah, it's been a year, a long, 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 long year on the road, uh, cycling from uh, Canada. You know, I've already cycled from uh, the Atlantic to the Pacific and I'm headed to, to the Arctic Ocean to Tuk Toyak Tuk. Oh my God, so when did you start your journey? So I started in January 2016. And, uh, you know, I thought it was going to be a six months affair. You know, a year later, I'm still on the road. But uh, that's because I took, uh, you know, first of all, Canada is bigger than I expected. You know, I knew it was the biggest, I mean, the second biggest country in the, on the planet. Mm -hmm. But I didn't really think it was that big. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's really big. You know, some provinces like Ontario and BC, I've been in them for two months. You know, I've cycled them for two months. But I've been, uh, you know, I've been able to see how, even though it's a big country and, um, you know, Canadian people are so nice everywhere, even though they're different, you know, obviously because, uh, you know, they, they live in different regions. But everyone has been uh, welcoming and everyone has been uh, hospitable, you know, and it's been interesting to get to know really you know, like Canadians like, you know, you know, like one, 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 one on one and one by one, actually. Yeah, no, that's cool. So as you're touring across Canada, you've been staying in other people's homes, like just generosity to get you from place to place. Yes, uh, I basically use uh, websites uh, that, uh, you know, like couch surfing, you know, and uh, other websites that, you know, allow travelers and hosts to meet. But I'm also a DJ, so I have a few people around the world who, you cool. know, uh, like who listen to my music. And for some weird reason, everyone has a friend in Canada, you know, but it's normal because Canadians are friendly. <laughs> and, um, and also when I go somewhere, you know, I get people to tell people in the next cities to host me. Like, for instance, here I was in Dawson Creek. Somebody helped me get somebody in, um, sorry, I'm here in... Um, Chet, I can't even pronounce Chet it. Chetwin. Yeah, Chetwin. <laughs> and somebody helped me find uh, someone in New, um, in Dawson Creek who's going to help me someone, uh, find someone in Fort Central. So I've been really, really lucky to have a lot of people like welcome me to their homes and, uh, you know, have you know, like, uh, give me a place to sleep and give me a warm meal. And then, of course, you know, like um, socialize because that breaks the monotony a little bit. So what has been your favorite part? What are some highlights of your trip from across country till now? So, of course, the, the, the obvious highlight has been to, you know, admire this beautiful country because I really got to see some sceneries that I'd seen before in, in, on postcards yeah. and I really realized that those pictures are, are untouched. It's really that beautiful. I can necessarily, you know, right now I can think of uh, Prince Edward Island, which is absolutely wonderful, and British Columbia, which is mesmerizing, despite its winds and its, uh, despite the, the, the mountains and the hills that have been killing me. But, uh, you know, British Columbia is so great because I've been here in summer and I get to see it in winter and I promise you it's like being in a different uh, province. Really? Just completely different from the rest different of Canada? Province, That's yeah. cool. So how long in your journey do you have left? Uh, I have, uh, I mean, I have to be by Tuk uh, Tuk by mid-April mm -hmm. because that's when the ice roads start melting uh, in order to get to the Arctic Ocean. But ideally, I mean, and I don't like to time these things because at first, you know, this is someone who, wanted, who thought he was going to cross Canada in six months. And, I, and a year and a month later, he's still on the road. So, but I need to be there by uh, mid-April, which is why I'm, you know, I'm trying to rush along as possible, as much as possible. But all I know is that I have uh, uh, just under 3,000 kilometers left. Oh my goodness, that, that sounds so long to me. Um, it, it, it is, it is, I mean, compared to the, to the 15,000 I've yeah. cycled, it's, it's nothing. But compared to, I mean, 3,000 kilometers in winter, that's long. That, that's a little bit yeah. of a trek. Yeah, no, definitely. So you've broken some world records. Tell us about that. So when I decided to cycle across Canada, um, I decided to apply for a Guinness World Record. Mm -hmm. And Guinness told me, well, there's a record that's standing. You can try and break it. So it's the longest uh, journey by bicycle in a single country, mm -hmm. which means I have to go from point A to point B in a continuous journey. Yes. I can't just go, like for instance, I can't go cycle somewhere and then come back home and then cycle somewhere else and come back home. Mm -hmm. I have to keep moving. Yes. And um, I actually broke the record uh, when I was uh, between uh, Prince George and MacLeod, which was two days ago. So now that I broke the record, um, now that I'm, um, I'm sort of like carrying on, now it means that I'm going to set a new record, which is something to smile about. That's amazing. Yeah, so how do you feel about setting a new record? Like, not only are you smiling about it, how do you feel about that? That's amazing. Well, it's an achievement. You know, I mean, I'm not really the athletic type and people, you know, all my friends and my, even my family, they're like, we, can't even, we didn't even know that you had it in you to be <laughs> athletic. Well, I didn't even know I had it in me, you know. So people say, wow, that's amazing. It's surprising. I'm like, I'm the most surprised. But it feels good. It's, a, you know, it's, it's a nice thing to know that, you know, I knew my mind could do it, but I didn't know my body could. Yeah. But you know, if you control the mind, the body will follow. That's amazing. So you're breaking records, you're proving yourself wrong. That's amazing. Um, what else can you tell me about this trip? What has been the hardest part besides like the conditions and stuff? What has been the absolute hardest thing? Well, the hardest part is 
the absolute hardest part mm -hmm. was climbing Duffy Lake in a snowstorm. Oh my goodness. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, I, I did it. It took me just from the, you know, from Duffy Lake yeah. to the salt shade. It took me two and a half hours. And I had to turn around because I realized there's no way I was going to make it to Lillooet. And also in Newfoundland, at one stage I was riding, I mean, I was in Newfoundland in um, April or May, which means that it was completely still desolate. It was still, you know, off season. So everything was closed. And at one stage I rode six hours in freezing rain. And I was just getting hypothermia, but I knew whatever happened, I didn't have to, I could not stop. Yes. I had to keep on pedaling because it was the little heat that my body was producing, was keeping me sort of like, you know, alive. That was hard. But after I did that, I knew I was like, you know, I was, I, still, I knew I was tougher than, um, than I thought. But at the same time, it showed which limitations. I can cycle in snow, in a snowstorm, I can cycle in extreme heat, but rain, I stop. <laughs> rain is too much. It's yeah, no, no, too rain much. is just because there's nothing you can do about rain. You yeah. know, my, my, this gear I wear is waterproof, but after six hours, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Whatever we'll get, you know, water we'll get, mm -hmm. we'll find a way. Wow. So besides British Columbia, of course, what has been the most beautiful thing? Like you were saying, you've seen on postcards and stuff. Any particular postcard that you actually seen in real life that was just took your breath away? Uh, like I said, Prince Edward Island. You know, at mm -hmm. one stage I was cycling, and uh, you know, and, and I'd seen, uh, I just left Charlotte Town, and I looked at, I was like overlooking Charlotte Town from far, and I could see farmland and a big city. Yeah. And I'd seen that postcard, and I was like, this is just amazing. And I took my camera, and I took the photo, and uh, it was the same thing. And the, so I looked at my photo, and it was, oh, I'm like, after all, I'm not that bad of a photographer <laughs> when you have a good scenery. <laughs> Perfect. Are you? Well, thank you for talking to us today. Thank you for having me. Perfect.